Do you find you're running out of your Ethereum quickly and you can't get in enough runs in the Alluvium overworld? Well, I am here to help you out. There is a really easy way for you to get your Alluvium testnet, get extra so you can keep playing Alluvium and keep feeding that addiction without giving away your credit card details or anything like that. Something really simple and easy to use. I'll even show you a few workarounds so you can get even more from that, but really you do not actually need that much. So let's jump straight into it. The first thing you wanna do is make sure that you have the Cipolia network on your MetaMask. How you do this, you click little MetaMask in the top right, you go over here, oh no, you go over to the top left here, and if you don't have the test network Cipolia already, which you can see down the bottom here, and you need to let, toggle on that little show test networks thing. If you don't have that already, then you'll click add network. It will bring you here and you should be able to add Sepolia here. If you have issues, leave a comment down below. After that, you're gonna to want to go to a website called Infura. I know there's quite a few of these websites. You can use them all if you wanna get heaps and heaps, but Infura I found has been the best. It was really easy, just register with an email and you're basically good to go. You'll jump in here and you will just enter your wallet address. Now, this can be any MetaMask address. You don't need any Ethereum to receive it. You don't need any, um, so make, you, make sure, you need to make sure that your main net Ethereum wallet does have some activity on it. It cannot be just a fresh wallet. That is all you will need for this. So you put in your wallet, any MetaMask wallet, it doesn't actually have to be linked to your passport at all, doesn't have not have to be related. You just put in your wallet, you click receive Ethereum. After a little while, it'll say the transaction is happening. You can click view block explorer to make sure this is going through and just double check on it. It doesn't take too long. I think in this case, it's probably gonna take like uh, 30 to 40 seconds. We'll just watch as this is pending. If you wanna see that Ethereum, you'll have to switch your network on the top here. If you're starting on Ethereum, you go to Ethereum and you switch it and you go to Sepolia down the bottom here and then you'll be able to see how much Sepolia ETH is in your wallet. It looks like it's probably already gone through. It has 0.5 in there, which I didn't think it would have. So now you can see in the top right here that I've got 0 0.5098 Sepolia ETH. All we needed to now is add it to our IMX passport. And then after that, we can buy some fuel and other things to use in the Alluvium game. So let's get onto it. As we jump into this website here, which is sandbox.alluvadex.alluvium.io, do not visit any other websites. You will see that you can go up to the top right here and you'll be able to log into your passport account. In my case, I have the passport and it already has $1,600 in Sepolia ETH on the account. All I do here is I click on the little passport button in the top right, as you can see it right there. And then I go to add funds down the bottom here. Right there, you can just add funds. After that, you will do deposit from wallet right in the middle here. Now, it is worth mentioning here that Alluvium for private beta four and other betas and things like that, they will have ways for you to claim it directly on here. You won't need to do any of this other stuff. You're just better click claim and you're good to go. But for those of you who have a crazy addiction and really wanna get more fast or make it easier for yourselves, this is the way to do it. So I'll click deposit from wallet and then you'll be actually connecting your layer one wallet you won't be connecting the Ethereum mainnet though, you'll be connecting the Cipolia mainnet, but if you get a dodgy website, then you could run into some issues, so be careful. And you can see that the hot wallet here has 0.509, we'll click next, connect. You need to do it like twice for some reason, sign. So this signs to just connect the wallet, then you'll sign again to actually deposit the funds. You can click max here, but it typically requires about 0.01 ETH to actually go through for some reason. So um, I'll just do 0.5 since I have 0.51 in the account. You'll click confirm deposit and it will deposit to this specific passport. If you want to deposit to a different passport, then you need to log into that passport and do this whole process. But in this case, I'm depositing into this passport. That's for transferring tokens between passports. I don't know yet. I will figure that out at some point. But yes, you'll see the transaction will come up. You just go, you'll sign it. And then that will get deposited to your Immutable X wallet. The only thing is it takes a little while for it to get confirmed. And I'm going to come back as soon as I know how long it took. And I can show you how to then buy fuel on the... So now our funds have arrived. If we look at Etherscan here, which I just refreshed, it said nine minutes ago, the transaction was initiated. You can see it right here. Nine minutes ago. And then if we go an Immutascan on the test net, we can see that the 0.5 ETH 
uh, Ethereum arrived about four minutes ago. Now, I did refresh this heaps while I was going and eventually I refreshed and it came up with the four minutes ago thing. So it might have actually taken a little bit longer than that. So keep that in mind. But for all I know, it appeared on the Aluva Dex four minutes ago and I just didn't notice. So that is what it is. Now we just jump into the fuel exchange. The URL for this is sandbox.aluvadex.alluvium.io slash fuel dash exchange. Um, and then you're good to go. Now, what are these three fuels? Firstly, on the left here, we have Krypton. That is used pretty much only for travel. If you want to travel to a region, uh, increases in price depending on difficulty. But if you want to travel to a region, you need to spend Krypton. Hyperion is for curing shards. If you need to cure shards, basically, when you go into the world and you destroy some shards and you get these uh, uncured shards, you then need to cure them so that you're able to use them to capture alluvials. To do that, you need Hyperion. You don't need that much. Solon, I believe, will be for pretty much everything else. I'm not entirely sure what exactly, but I believe you will need it for crafting items. For example, crafting enhanced gear, drone equipment, all the rest of it will probably use Solon. If not that, then armor and other equipment, but I haven't delved into that heaps. Now, how much do you need of each? I would probably generally buy as you go, but you're going to need Krypton no matter what. So I would grab as much of this as you think makes sense. If I were to grab, let's say, 10,000 Krypton, then it would be $42. Uh, but my Ethereum account is now on 3,000. You can just grab a tons so that you never need to worry about it again. I'll just do 50,000 purchase. It will open up a passport transaction. As you can see it right here. Uh, you go to sign in. You go right here, you go transfer. So basically you're transferring it to Alluvium in a certain sense but it's a part of the process, the, the purchase. And you can see total Krypton received 50,000. And if you exit out of that by just clicking out of it, you should be able to see that the order went through successfully right there. I don't know how to see it in your wallet. So the balance is here. So if I hit the refresh on the left here, I can see the Krypton has appeared and you can see your balance right there in case you've forgotten what you currently do and don't own. The next thing is Krypton. I like to get a lot of this. There's a lot of shards to cure. I'll just get 50,000 of that as well. And again, we go to transfer it. It goes through and then it eventually processes. Now this isn't taking longer than 10, 15 seconds per purchase. That's why I'm saying just buy as much as you can. It will be kind of a hassle to just go and buy it over and over again. And I go to Solon and I'll just get the same amount and I've got lots of Ethereum left over that I can just send to people if they need it and they don't want to go through all this hassle. Very easy. Join Wildfire if you want people to send you stuff. It might be easier for certain people that way if you're not really familiar with a lot of these processes. Go through the Solon and there you go. Now, as I refresh my balances on the left here, you can see that I have 50,000 Krypton, 52,000 Hyperion because I already had 2,000 and 50,000 Solon. And yeah, that's how you get extra fuels and other things in Alluvium so that you never have to worry about claiming your Testnet ETH or whatever. You can just play the game to your heart's content. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe down below. Comment down below if you have other websites that are good for this. People don't just use those websites. I will vet them first. Actually, no, scratch that. Don't comment that.